to go even further beyond! Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, and in this video, we are touching a very, very, very scary topic if it was to come to life. Now, there's two topics I want to touch on in this video, and there's two things that can be speculated off, off of this banner, or the two banners that we actually got for the festival, featuring the Goku and Vegeta, uh, who are actually a tag unit, a whole new mechanic that we've got, and obviously Broly, the side unit on that banner as well. And then we've also got the Sword of Hope Trunks character here, he's a Super Saiyan, and we've also got the Goku and Goku Black and Zamasu assist unit to actually be the side character on that banner. But the characters are not the big deal on this banner, it's that promotion on this banner. The sparking rates at 30%, triple the Z power, that's on both banners for literally every single sparking on this banner. You can see 0.5. 0.25 and then you also have the 1800 for every single pull that means if you pull a sparking and you did not have them you need to pull them six times only six times to actually 14 star them and that is mind-blowing but you guys see in the thumbnail i know you're aching to hear what i have to say in this video hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button we are on this grind to 25,000 subscribers all my social media links are on the left. It's the YouTube channel where we've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Let's actually get into discussing the two most scary things that we could actually see in the upcoming of Legends Future. So I think I'm actually going to start with the fact that we would actually get a summonable Ultra. I feel like that's the main thing. That's probably the biggest thing that's confirmed. Like, Toshi literally said... We're not going to have any more free Ultras for a long time. It's considering Omega Shenron is going to be the last one that we're going to get. So, the next one that we're going to get, we're speculating to get by the end of this year. I feel like it makes sense that it be uh, someone that is obviously summonable. Uh, someone hype, someone that we all want. But, at what cost will that come, given that it's a summonable Ultra? Now, Ultras are meant to be very exclusive characters. They're not meant to be like LFs. LFs, the value of them has dropped. They're not meant to be like regular Sparkings. They have a whole new rarity, and there's only three of them currently in the game. So, the first one, Ultra Goku, was like, wow, we really got it. Cool. Everybody was really interested. Uh, he wasn't that good at first, but when he got his Platinum Equip, he became a beast. But when we got Vegeta alongside and Omega Shannon, it's like, all right, cool, we've gotten used to the, the Ultra hype. So, when we get this ultra summonable character is going to be the next big thing and it needs to be of value considering that we're going to be summoning for it but like i said it has to be at what cost given that we just got these two banners here at festival there's probably only one more banner left for the year and that's the one that will come at christmas that's really hype that everybody's going to be interested in and that's where we'd most likely see the summonable ultra that we're expecting in that banner the rates will probably be incredibly low and the reason i think that is because for one it's something unique it's not to be meant to be accessible like that it's meant to be really really exclusive so um if you got it it's like bragging right almost and it's something you should actually be happy that you actually had access to you it's meant to be a step above everything that we have so that's why i'm actually going to talk about these banners here you can actually see they have the 30 percent uh rates and the triple the z power that just hints to me that they're actually lowering the value of other things in the game so that when this next thing comes out the value of it is so high that we can't even avoid it like we have to gravitate towards it everybody's gonna have these ls at high stars because like i said it only takes you six pulls to actually get them to the max amount of stars everybody on this character and this banner you can literally 14 star do you know how many characters are 14 starred on this banner if you spend just 20k you're pulling so many sparkings for the rates are high and when you pull those sparkings a lot of them will be the same ones you might pull a couple lfs too so you get them high stars like it's honestly just w's for this banner but for the future obviously when we get this summonable ultra or whatever's coming next i feel like it really does mean that the rates could genuinely be low and that's a factor that we'd have to be ready for. So if you're going to be summoning, you could be spending a load of CC, but actually not get nothing simply because the value of what's next is just that high in comparison to these. These, it feels like they can't be topped, but Legends could definitely be working on 
three units that I could think of that are just so insane that you can't, can't not summon on them. One of them being Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. A summonable ultra with the an animation. Someone made a concept for that and it would look amazing. I don't feel like anybody would be able to skip that. That's my number one. A Super Gogeta. Like, literally, if they had a summon, uh, a, a, a ultra animation, you know that how they start the animations and then the Goku and Vegeta fuse, that would be crazy. Third one, probably a Vegito, and I just have to put him out there because you know Legends love Vegito. They these three, if they had amazing quit, uh, uh, amazing kits. They gave them a platinum equip on top of that, like they did Ultra Goku, Vegeta, and um, Omega Shenron hasn't got his yet, but he will get one. And GT already has a lot, so he has some. Like, it would be nuts if they made them more OP than this. And because they're going to be summonable, I can only imagine they would be good. But that's just a lot of speculation as to one side of things. Let's get into the other sides, which you've already seen on the thumbnail. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the possibility of the stars available for your characters increasing. I really don't want this one to happen and I don't imagine it will happen but the fact that they've increased it once just means it's possible again especially with this game it's meant to last quite a while not necessarily forever but it's meant to be last a couple years look at Dokken it's lasting and right now Legends is doing extremely well you can only imagine it's got a quite a, a quite a lifeline on it especially with the possibilities of characters they can release we've literally just seen this Goku and Vegeta a tag character that can literally switch out it's two in one and that's not even touching on other things like main abilities uh two main abilities that allow them to transform twice like for example characters like cell or freezer that would be insane so there's just a lot of possibilities in this game right given that they've been handing out so much legend limit and z power i could list them on my finger the sparking limit break banners the whole pity system in itself just makes legend limit and z power more accessible the hoi poi coins is insane man that literally allows you to get so much every time it comes. It just adds uh, towards your amount for free. Uh, even the weekend banner now. Right now it's the weekend. I can even show you, man. I think I've bought it out. But the weekend banner actually allows you to buy Legend Limited Z Power. Like, that is nuts. So every, I believe it's four weeks. Correct me if I'm wrong. But every four weeks on the weekend, it is uh, three times four. <laughs> you can actually get 100 Legend Limit Z power. That is insane to contribute to your units. It just tells me that they're actually just lowering the value of Legend Limit characters because the star increase could then generally just be around the corner. So everybody's getting these characters to 14 stars. That just means that it's going to go higher. So everybody has to reach for a new peak now. That would be insane. And it actually gives them more room to actually balance out units as well. So they could do that and actually increase the amount of Z power. So you can see in this banner here, we actually get triple the Z power. But if that becomes a norm, this banner will, won't be as valuable as we see it, especially with this 21 stars that we can reach. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, 21 stars is 1,000, I mean, 15,000 uh, Z power total. For a regular pull of a sparking, they could increase it to 1,200 so that you can actually easier, easier reach that, but it allows them to actually space out a lot more in terms of Z abilities, stat increases and whatnot. It's something that's very possible if they were to handle it well, but it takes a lot of planning, which is why I don't feel like it's anywhere near. But the fact that they've been dropping a lot of Legend Limited Z Power for free to play is just like that. On top of the fact that whales already spend their money and this banner has such high rates, it can only mean that they could possibly be increasing the star, uh, star limit for a future. Obviously, this is just all speculation. Like I said at the start of the video, uh, I hope I said that at the start of the video. But it's just an interesting topic to touch on whether they're actually going to uh, low, lower the rates incredibly for the summonable ultra or even increase the star limit. Maybe neither, most likely neither, and I hope neither, but it's just food for thought. That's actually going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about the thoughts in this video. I feel like it pretty much aligns to go either way, but it doesn't necessarily have to go either way. Legends could just give, be generous, drop the summonable ultra and give regular rates. You just really never know. So it's not something I tell you guys to worry about, but it's just a possibility that could come in the future. And if it was to come, depending on how they handle it, I have to admit, and I think you guys agreeing as well, it would very much be scary. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already, man. On this grind to 25,000 subscribers. All my social media links on the left. It's the YouTube channel, but we've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. I'm going to do more interesting videos, man. I enjoyed making this video right here, even though it's just simply a discussion. But I feel like the topic itself is just something worth talking about.
My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please, let me know.